Hello everyone, I hope you're well. I'm standing a bit closer to the camera today because it's cicada season and uh, it's deafening. So uh, I hope you can hear me okay. Now today's video features our group's resident praying mantis kung fu instructor Cameron Hurst. And in this session he talked about the mantis hand or the mantis fist and uh, their version of the, the commonly seen in Kung Fu uh, sticking hands drill. Now when I post Kung Fu videos and boxing videos and karate videos on this channel, people often say, what's this got to do with Aikido? And I think this is an absolutely classic example of how uh, a, an instructor from another art can show things which are basically critical to being a successful practitioner of Aikido. He talks about making connection before you apply a technique, a critical function of what we do. Um, he talks about um, applying a wrist lock uh, in a way that controls and leads a partner. In fact, if you look halfway through the video, it's Nikio. And he does a wonderful kind of double Nikio forward and backwards partner drill, which I think is a great wrist warm up exercise, but it's a really good way for people to get used to moving and absorbing a technique as well as applying it. Anyway, as always, hope this is useful to you. If it is and you want to support what we're doing, it doesn't cost you anything. Smash the subscribe, hit the like, all those good, all those good things. And of course, thank you for watching. For the mantis fist, mantis hand, um, we're going to use the wrist. So the action at the wrist, pulling the the hand down, okay, and then these three fingers pressing in against the bottom part of the palm and the thumb pressing against the index finger, okay? And if I can use a, a person. So what we're really doing, if, if a, we're in a bridge or a punch is coming, we're using this part of the hand to attach here Part of the reason we're not using the thumb is because we're susceptible to some sort of a joint lock. Whereas if I'm like this and he tries to lock my hand, I can slip off a lot easier. Whereas if my thumb's in, I can get locked in here. So that's one of the, one of the main reasons why we just use the fingers and not the thumb. So we're more able to then have a counter attack or a release, gives us more options. Quite important is also the forearm. So we're using the forearm to press against the arm. Okay, so I'm really squeezing my hand down. And then normally with that, we're gonna have some sort of a pulling motion. Okay. So the technique we're gonna actually look at today is called Diao Jin. And this is one of our 12 keywords. We have 12 keywords in Mantis, which are the, the kind of the 12 core um, techniques or ideas and the Diao this is a Diao show but it actually refers to taking a punch or a attack then Jin means to enter so we, we are basically after we're entering with a fist or a palm okay so what I'll get you to do first of all is just get into pairs and we're just going to start with a very basic drill to have a feel of the Diao Jin. Okay? Okay, so we want to have the same lead hand forward. So most of us are going to be, um, for Mantis, we often have the right hand forward because for Kung Fu, we often have our strongest hand leading. So you're going to be right hand to right hand, just in a bridge position so you can touch. One person is going to punch towards the chest, we'll just go towards the chest, just so no one gets injured. The other person, as they're punching, I just want you to curl your hand over their arm and start to bring their hand towards the same side of your body that the hand is on, okay? So just towards your armpit. Once you feel that you can't go any further, you're going to turn that hand into a fist. The other person is going to do the same backwards. So they are going to turn their hand over, use those three fingers, grab and pull. Okay? 
You don't want to pull till you get off balance. So once you get to the point that you feel you're, you're reaching your limit of balance, then you turn that pull into a punch. And what you'll find, um, if you're not used to this, you might have trouble coordinating the fist and the grab. The changing from a grab into a fist can be a little bit um, confusing at first, the coordination. The application of the meaning of this a little bit, but the technique's the same. So I want to do these two together. So if I have a partner, this is actually a warm-up drill for the wrists, and it relates to uh, a wrist lock, what in Chinese we call a chinna technique. So if we're in this position, um, and he grabs me here, we have this wrist lock here. Okay, so all we're going to do is, I am going to pull his hand, okay, and then we're actually going to switch around here, sorry. I'm going to pull to a horse stance, and he's in what we call a hill climbing stance. I'm going to pull his arm, and then he's going to pull me. So this is a, like a, a bigger version of what we just did. But through this motion, you might kind of start to feel this whole body motion. So this is not specifically a sticky hands exercise, but it'll give you a feel for the extremes of the motion. Okay? So all we're doing, I'm pulling here, and he's going to resist a bit. So this is like a strength exercise as well. Then he pulls, and I resist. So we're going quite slow. We're just rotating over. Okay, and we'll do about 10, 15 each side, and then you can change to the other side. So in this position, we're in a bridge, but I'm actually using my back hand to make this work. Okay, so with a partner, if you're standing in front of each other, I'm just going to take the same side hand that we're connecting on, I'm going to take that back. Okay, and then I'm grabbing here, he's grabbing, and I'm just locking his hand as you would in a standard um, wrist lock, I'm sure you have something similar in Aikido. Through some of those ideas, you should start to feel um, what we're trying to do with our hand there. So the, the Diao, Diao Shou, or I guess you could call it the Mantis hand, as it's grabbing. We're pulling in, we're deflecting off. We're not pulling it way away. We're just taking it off the line, okay? And by rotating our body, we're also changing the line of our body so we don't actually have to pull it so far. Um, now what I want to do is just go to a slightly higher level. It's still not too difficult, hopefully. And all we're going to do is one person is going to be punching and the other one's going to be just taking it. So you just go one, two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so all one person is just going to be doing continuous punching. Okay, and I'm just going to be deflecting that. Okay, so one thing that's really important when we talk about sticky hands or, or, or Jan Yin and um, Praying Mantis is the first step is to connect. Okay, so we don't want to get into the mindset of if he's attacking me, I'm trying to grab his hand. Because if you're grabbing it flies like Mr. Miyagi, you're going to get hit in the face, basically. Okay, so always think about the connection. So really I'm thinking about the defense first, the block first. And this is the, the, the idea of um, yin and yang. We, we talk about, you know, offense and defense. You probably have similar things in Aikido, I imagine. You know, you have the yin-yang symbol, which is the black and the white, and within the black is the white dot. So, you know, hardness at its, ex ex its extreme becomes softness. So you turn your defense into attack. But you can't miss that step. So always think about making that connection first. Or when, when it speeds up and it becomes, I guess, more lifelike, more realistic. Um, if you do miss that step and you're already one step ahead, you, you're thinking about the deflection as opposed to just making that connection and defending first. Then you're likely to miss the hand. And then that's when things go bad and you get a bloody nose, right?